What's going on guys, I'm Gronks and welcome back to the PCL today we're jumping to our week 3 game against Commentine and the Dallas Dog Pound. Now, before we get into this game, um, I'm going to have a friend in the room, uh, so I mean, uh, he's not here right now, but he will be, and uh, hopefully that doesn't, you know, distract me too much. If it does, it's not, you know, I'm not going to use it as like an excuse, but, uh, you know, I don't have a good track record of playing with people in the room, so let's just say that. Um, Another thing is that this game is kind of rushed, uh, not because we're actually late, it's just we've decided to pick, play kind of early in the week because I want to get this game done. So the team isn't really great, but I'm I'm happy enough with it, so uh, we'll see what happens with it. Um, so yeah, let's jump into Commentine's team. He has Kyrum Black, Mega Scizor, Alakazam, Donphan, Galvantula, Lipard, Snorlax, Gyarados, Gorgas, Playskin, and Gyarvor. His Emons are Alakazam, Snorlax, and Gyarados. Um, Really, really good team. Um, really, really good team. Very, very offensive. Uh, you see the pictures are wrong because Gorgeist, Blaziken, and Gardevoir haven't been updated. But uh, he no longer has Machamp, Dusclops, and uh, Meganium. Um, yeah, a few things to note. He has Sticky Webs, of course. Sticky Webs plus Chiron Black is just insane. Uh, he, he also has Gyar Gyarados. Gyarados is actually a man I wanted to draft in this league. So Gyarados is great. I love Gyarados. And it's very, very scary. So... To watch out for that. And Mega Scissor is always a bit of a pain in the ass, especially because he has a Snorlax there with Thick Fat. Um, it's a little bit awkward to kill that thing. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cool matchup. I don't know really who has the upper hand. I would say it's probably him because Sticky Webs, facing a Chiron Black with Sticky Webs, you're instantly, you know, not doing too great. But I think, I think we might be able to do okay. So, you jump into the team. You'll notice that there aren't a lot of things on his team that are actually very fast because he has sticky webs. His fastest mod is actually the Alakazam. Uh, oh, it's the Alakazam. Ooh, wait, how fast is Alakazam? I think I fucked up. Uh, I made this thing at speed creep. Um, speed creep Galvantula, but I might want to make it speed creep the Alakazam because that thing is scary as well. And I have to go jolly for that. And uh, I will. So, ah, well. It gives us a lot more bulk, I guess. Uh, 473. Um, but we have Megalopony here. Megalopony is fantastic against this team. It really, really is. It lets me everything on his team. Uh, bar, you know, if Sticky Webs are up. Uh, and he's everything really, really hard. We have Fake out there for the Alakazam. Um, to break its sash. Um, and, like... I want to fake out it and then return it and just kill it. Um, and if we are slower than that, there's no point. Um, we will outspeed everything on his team, but our choice care for if, if webs are up, which is really, really important. Um, and other than that, I mean, high jump kick wrecks his team. It does a lot to Don Fan. There's a lot to like Gorgeist, Gardevoir, Snorlax, Gyarados. Um, uh, Gyarados obviously dies to one Thunder Punch, which is great. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really good against his team. If Megalopony does work in this game, I think we will win. Not no problem, but I think we can win pretty handedly. Uh, so I'm looking I'm looking forward to see if Mont Lopney can do a lot of work. And then we have Ishii, the Landorus. Choice Scarf, Intimidate with Earthquake, Stone Edge, Superpower, and U-Turn. Enough speed, speed to outspeed a max speed Gyarados. Um, reason for that is that a Gyarados of plus one would not outspeed Landorus, uh, which is pretty cool. So if Gyarados does get to plus one on a Mon, it's not the end of the world. Uh, the only Mon he can really do it that on is uh, Registeel, I guess. Um... So we'll have to be careful with that, but um, you know, I'm not too scared. Um, actually, I think about it, you get Thunder Punch, so I could just do that because Rock Slide is really only there for um, Galvantula and Gyarados, and I don't think Galvantula is as scary. How much does Galvantula take from a Registeel's Iron Head? I actually don't know. Um, I am all fucking over the place with this. I'm sorry. His team is very, very scary. So I want to make sure that I'm bringing the absolute right sets. There's actually nothing. How much does Rock Slide do? I assume with two AKOs. Almost. Um, how much does Gyarados take from Rock Slide? If he takes 40%, I'm happy. But I knew he wouldn't. Um, and Thunder Punch, two AKOs. Or at least force him to attack me. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's... Oops. That's not our set. We're impish. Um, huh. That's a tough one. I'm going to stick with Rock Slide. Because we can Toxic the Gyarados and then Rock Slide it. And he can't really get a free switch if we get up Rock, so that's good. Um, 
So yeah, yeah. Anyway, Ishii is really, really good against his team Landers. Earthquake is kind of free, besides the Gorgeist and the Gyarados. Scissor doesn't resist, doesn't want to take it. Snorlax doesn't want to take it. Donphan can take it pretty well, but it doesn't really want to take it. Um, it's just good against his team. Um, we can't click Earthquake too freely um, without you know being worried of Gyarados coming in and actually Dragon Dancing on us. We have to be careful about that, but other than that, it's uh, pretty good against this team. Super Power is there for the Snorlax and the Chiron Black if needed, and U-Turn is there just for initiative if we know Amon's going to swap out. Or if we're in against like maybe the Alakazam, you know, we just U-Turn, that's good. Um, so that's good. We have Chaos, the Chiron, uh, regular Chiron. <laughs> we have Choice Scarf uh, ourselves as well. Uh, two Choice Scarfers this week because Sticky Webs are scary. Drake and Meteor, Ice Beam, Focus Blast, and Hinbar Fire. Enough speed test to speed tie with a regular Chiron Black. So, I think it's pretty unlikely that he runs a max speed Chiron. Because he has Sticky Webs. So I think he's going to speed creep Landorus. If he speed creeps Landorus... Chiron will outspeed the Chiron Black. Now, if he runs Choice Scarf, which I don't know why he would, we don't. Uh, and then he outspeeds everything on my team no matter what. Um, but if he does that, he doesn't really hit as hard, so I'm not really scared of that. Drake Meteor Ice Beam is good against his team. Uh, his only real switch-ins are the, the Scizor, of course, and the Snorlax. Uh, one which dies to Focus Blast, the other to Hidden Power Fire. Uh, so that's pretty good. And um, yeah, it's a decent switch into to uh, Galvantula as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, so this thing unfortunately is weak to Ziggy Webs and uh, is weak to rocks as well. So that's a little bit unfortunate. His only rock setter is Don Fan, though. I think. Yeah, that's his only rock setter. So, rocks, him getting up rocks is kind of unlikely as long as we play it right. But let's we'll see what happens with that. Um, we have Vulture the Zapdos. Uh, leftovers pressure with Thunderbolt, Heatwave, Defog, and Roost. Physically defensive to take on stuff like the Scizor, the Don Fan, the Blaziken. Um, and with our natural bulk, we can take on Mons uh, if needed, like the the you know the Alakazam or something like that. Um, yeah, it's just good against this team. I need a defog. Zapdos had to come this week, um, and uh, yeah, hopefully this thing will stop me from getting swept from a uh, Swords Dance uh, Mega Scizor. And we have Shrek the Registeel, leftovers clear body. Um, like I said, we've been over this set. Physically defensive, uh, Thelthrock, Toxic, Iron Head, and Rock Slide. Not much to say. Just here to check mods like the Chiron Black, the Snorlax, the Gyarados, um, the Gavantula, the Gorgeist, the Gardevoir. So I think that's pretty good against his team. And finally, we have Homer, the Slow King Assault Vest Regenerator with Skull, Flamethrower, Hidden Power, Electric, and Psy Shock. Enough speed, just a little bit of speed in case he wants to, you know, speed creep me with Snorlax. I just want to be able to. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's speed Snorlax. Sorry. Um, Skulls, Flamethrower, Hidden Power, Electric, Psy Shock. I wanted to put, you know, Focus Blast on there somewhere for Snorlax and Kyrim, but uh, I want Psy Shock because it's able to. Hmm, what does Psy Shock hit? I'm gonna change Psy Shock, I think. I'm gonna change Psy Shock to Focus Blast. Because fuck it, right? Um, I don't need Psy Shock because he doesn't actually have a mod that's weak to Psychic on his team. Because the, Except for Blaziken, which is weak to water. So, yeah, that's not really an issue. Uh, although, Psyshock does hit Snorlax on the physical side. So I will change it back. I think, how much does Psyshock do to a uh, Chiron Black? I should know this, but I'm going to be honest, I don't. I should know this because I should have already calced. But uh, I, I, like I said, I built this team kind of quickly. Um, I assume it does 40%. Not even. Not even, not even. Like, that's nothing, wow. Uh, huh. Shh, how much does Focus Blast do? Okay. That kill after rocks. <sighs> yeah, alright. Is that a choice banded car? That's not a, yeah, that's not. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of Psyshock. Shock. How much does Focus Blast do to, Psy uh, to Snorlax? I assume a little bit. It does more than Psy Shock, so that's pretty okay, actually. That's pretty okay. Um, yeah, okay, all right. I mean, we have to land Focus Blast, which is a completely other story, um, but we'll, we'll hope for the best, we'll hope for the best. Homer, Homer's a pretty smart dude, so maybe he'll be able to land a few, so. Um, Flamethrower is just there for the Gavantula, the Scizor, um, the Gorgeist. Uh, Focus Blast is obviously there for the Chiron and the Snorlax. Skull is there for Stab, it also hits the Snorlax, the Dawn fan and the Blaziken. And uh, 
Hidden Power Electric is just there for the Gyarados. The Gyarados gets out of hand, I think, uh, unless he has Crunch. Uh, Slowking can take one hit and uh, Oko it with Hidden Power Electric, which I don't know if he have Crunch because, what, well, he'll have Waterfall, uh, Ice Fang, probably, and then Earthquake. Probably those three moves and Dragon Dance if he brings Gyarados to hit everything on my team for super effective damage. Uh, or at least most things, and then you won't be able to uh, hit my sloking too well. So that's that's the hope and the dream. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. So that's the team. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I did as much as I could. These six mons, it's a, it's annoying. I really didn't have a lot of options because Weezing really couldn't come. Uh, Zarowark was close. Chandelure was close. Slurpuff could not because Mega Scizor is just every single time. I wanted to bring the Unburdened Slurpuff set. I really, really did, but Scizor's there. It's never going to happen if a Scizor's there, so... Maybe next week, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. So, that's the team. I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to jump into the game with Commentine. Hopefully, we'll take up the win. Commentine is 2-0. and oh. We are 1-1. One and one. Uh, So, a win here would actually do a, a world for us. Because we really need to jump back into the uh, the, the playoff scene. Because right now, if you take a look at the standings, Commentine is 2-0-4. Oh, I'm 1-1 one one plus 1. Harshal's way out in front. There's no one that's going to catch up with him anytime soon. Um, so yeah, I, as long, I just want to win, a win, it doesn't matter how big the win is, a win is a win, um, and it would, uh, it would really, really change up the, uh, the standing, so, uh, yeah, let's jump into the game. Alright, so we're here, uh, I actually just had a little bit of time to think, um, about what I'm gonna do as a lead, or except the battle against Comatine. We say he... Doesn't bring the Don Fan. He doesn't bring the Snorlax or the Gyarados, which is cool. He's a Light Power Blaziken and then Alakazam, Galantula, Scizor, Karen Black, of course. Uh, um, Alright, so. Um, hide info not shown in game. What? Hmm. That's odd. Um, what's it called? We're going to ignore spectators. Just in case. Um, so. I think I've th I thought about it a lot. I think the lead is just Lopany every single time. Uh, there's no, re no reason not to. Um, Blaziken isn't too scary because it's dealt with by Zapdos. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling too bad about this, to be honest. I'm not feeling too scared. Uh, but I'm going to leave with Lopany. If he leads with Scizor, that's probably the worst lead, but everything else is like fine. We just get a fake out off. Uh, if he leads a Karim, though, I will fake out and then double out no matter what, just in case he is choice scared. For whatever weird reason. He, he leaves a dinner if I lose, which is the Blaziken. I'm going to Mega Evolve and just click Fake Out. Um, if... I mean, he, you know, we're good right here. So we click Fake Out no matter what. He does double out. He does go on a Red X. The Scizor, this obviously can't be Rocky Helmet, so nice Fake Out damage is nice. Um, and I think... See, the thing is, I don't want him to get a free switch in to Kyrim. So I'm going to go, like, like, if I go on a Zapdos, he'll U-turn, and then he'll just go into um, Kyrim. I don't want that. I could, I almost wish I could stay in, because he can't really kill me, unless he clicks Superpower, which he probably won't. Uh, so I, I really actually kind of want to stay in, because I have a lot of bulk in this thing. I have a lot of bulk, because I did run Jolly. I have 120 HP. Uh, if you have a Scizor, a Mega Scizor, uh, first of all, Oh, you pursuit fake out does. I did ten percent. I did. Oh, sorry, that was regular scissor. That was regular scissor. Let's calc regular scissor. This is regular scissor. He's max speed. He's max speed. He's max speed. He's max speed with no defense. So he's probably max speed, max HP. Uh, or sorry, max speed, max speed, uh, max attack. Uh, which means a. Bullet Punch does nothing. Well, sorry, no, that's not true. He'd be adamant. He'd be like that. Um, or maybe he is, I'm not sure. He definitely has some bulk, but not a lot. He's not max. So, if he just goes for a superpower, he'd just kill me. Um, he'd just straight out kill me. Uh, so, I'm just going to go into uh, Landorus, I think. I think Landorus is a pretty safe switch. Um, I think he will click U-turn, but I don't want to risk it. So right here, he goes for Swords Dance, actually. Okay. Alright. I wish I went into Zapdos now. Uh, do I double straight into Zapdos? Or do I go for U-Turn? 
Uh, I'm gonna go straight to Zapdos. I can't risk this thing. If he zap, if he Swords Dances again, that's fine. He doesn't go for Swords Dance again. Uh, we're gonna go for Heat Wave. I don't think he can Oko me. That's that's scary, dude. It's scary. Uh, it's, it's a threat, dude. It's a threat. He does double out in a Kyrum. This Kyrum, we do land, which is nice, and we get 26% off. That's definitely not bulky at all. That's definitely not bulky at all. I mean, I'm going to check just in case, but I know it's not. We did 24%, so yeah, it's about that. Um, oh, we did 26%, so yeah, cool. All right, that's good. Um, right here, uh, I could just go into Registeel. I think that is my play, so I can get up my rocks, because I want to break the Galvantula's Focus Sash if he has it. I could also go into Slowking. Uh, I hard predict the Fusion Bolt and go to Landers, but I think Registeel is the right play. He can't. He won't be clicking Earth Power. He could click a Focus Blast, but I think that's unlikely too. So, um, And I would stay in, but I can't hit him with anything. Uh, so I'm just going to go into Shrek. He goes for Dragon Pulse. Very, very little. Uh, I'm going to check just in case, but that's not... Dragon Pulse, that's very odd. Okay, all right, all right. We know things now, we know we know things. Um, oh, good thing is he doesn't have the Gyarados, so me running Rock Slide was actually a really good call. Um, that was a great call. Um, right here, I don't think I wanna stay in. I think I'm going to double out into, uh, phew, what do I double into? I could double in a Lander, no, I can't double in Landers. I think he's gonna go back into Scizor. And I don't want to give Scizor another chance to set up. But to do... No, I'm going to put up my rocks and then go into Zapdos. I'm going to put up my rocks. I need my rocks up. He goes into Mary Jane the Gavantula. So, um... That's fine. I want to break this thing's sash. I hopefully... I hope I don't miss. Okay, that's cool. That does a nice bit of damage. That's a nice bit of damage. I'm going to rock slide again. I want a Toxic, but I think he could obviously swap into the Scizor, so I'm just going to Rock Slide again. I think he'll just Thunder right here. Yeah, he does. Gets a good bit of damage off. No para, which is nice. Um, and uh, I have no Switch. I, I I could double in a Landorus, and I think I will because he's definitely taking Thunder. And I would reveal that I'm Choice Scarf, but I don't care because he doesn't have a, he actually doesn't have a Ground Resist on his or yeah, a Ground Resist on his team. Um, he goes for Thunder. Uh, do I want to click U-Turn or Earthquake? That's an interesting question. If I click U-Turn... If I click Earthquake, he knows I'm Choice Scarf. And then he goes in a Lipard, maybe Kyrum. But Kyrum probably dies after rocks to a thing. He probably goes Scizor then. And then I can go into Zapdos and get rid of the fucking webs. So I'm going to Earthquake. We do kill the Galantula. So, first kill. That's great. I think he definitely, obviously, knows I'm Choice Scarf now. And I think... Neither the... La no, the Alakazam wouldn't come in. The, um... The Alakazam actually comes in. So that's... Very surprising. Um... Uh, I think, uh... Slow King is just a great play here. Uh, there's no nothing wrong with it. I'm a salt vest. I can take any hit. It's fine. So I'm just going to Slow King. Goes right in Power Ice, of course. Uh, it's his best thing to hit me with. Um, right here, I I think I'm just going to Scald. Uh, I have no problem with doing that. It, he could go for Shadow Ball, but I think I can take two. Uh, he does go for Shadow Ball, but I do break his uh, his Focus Sash. Uh, and I do actually do a K to a KO, which is crazy. Uh, I'm just going to Scald again. I could Focus Blast, predicting the Kyrum, but that thing coming in on rocks is great anyway. So I don't mind that at all. Uh, we're doing really well here. Uh, he does go on a Lipard. Lipard, oh, I wish I clicked Focus Blast, dude, wow. Um, Lipard just dies to Scald, so holy shit. What? Oh my god. Sloking, you savage. You fucking monster. <laughs> um... Oh, this is where a tough play comes in. Now, he won't Swords Dance. 
actually at this point because we know he's max speed scissor I might as well check because he's speedy he's already shown that he's speedy he's offensive swords dance because the heat wave yeah heat wave just straight up goes him so because I think he won't swords dance now I think he'll click u-turn I think u-turn is just his best play but I can't go on a Reggie seal even though I think that I could go on a Landorus because Landorus is a pretty safe switch and if he clicks u-turn I'm good no matter what then I, he goes in Alakazam and I click U-turn. Uh, if he clicks Swords Dance, it's still fine. Can Zapdos take a plus three knockoff? I think it can. It can. Yeah. I'm going to go to Landers. I don't think he has Swords Dance here because I have a Zapdos. He goes for a knockoff. Okay. Well, oh no! That's not good at all. Oh no! Okay. Fuck. Okay. So that actually is very, very unfortunate. Uh, I'm just gonna earthquake here. Uh, I think I get a kill right here. I do outspeed speed this scissor no matter what. I don't kill it straight away, but he'll. I'll get damage off on something. So I'm gonna go for earthquake. He goes for swords dance. Um, I think that's fine. He can't kill me with bullet punch, and I do at speed him. Uh, I do live. And earthquake picks off the scissor. That's great. Um, so I need to get a defog off at this point. At this point, because Alakazam's slash is broken, I need to defog with Zapdos, get Kyrum in, and start spamming um, outrage. Um. I'm gonna go on a slow king right here. I don't want to just sack a mon for no reason. And slow king, he doesn't really have a switch into it. So I'm gonna go on a slow king. He could shadow ball right. Actually, he probably will shadow ball right away, but that's fine as long as he doesn't get spadef drop. Please no. No spadef drop, which is great. Um. Um. I'm just gonna go for Scald, I think. Uh, Kyrum, we don't know if it's choice turn in some way yet. We still don't know. I wanna keep uh, Homer healthy though, because I wanna be able to kill the Blaziken with it. How much does a Shadow Ball do to Zapdos from an Alakazam? Uh, I. Well, let's, 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 let's. He did 30%. He did 33% with Shadow Ball. He's not alive for him. He's Focus Sash. I assume he's Focus Sash because, of course, it, like that's the best set for Alakazam. Uh, and I think he's modest. He's modest. He's either... Yeah, he's modest. He's definitely modest. Can Zapdos... No. Zapdos take a Shadow Ball and a Psychic. It can. Can it take a Hidden Vire Rice? I think, yeah. Yeah, definitely can. So I think I'm going to go into Zapdos, defog, then go into Chiron Black, or my Chiron, start spamming. If he crits me, I'm going to be in trouble. He doubles in a Chiron. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, I can't let this thing die because I will lose the game. Uh, I'm going to go into... He's shown he's special. So I wonder if he actually has... Ooh, I wonder if he actually has Fusion Bolt. I don't know enough about him, though, to know yet. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna go on a... Actually, well, Registeel beats the uh, Alakazam as well. But I need, I, Slowking beats it better. And also beats the Blaziken. Um, but I did it last time, so I think it's kind of obvious. He could also still agility with the Blaziken, which I'm really scared about. That's why I want to keep sloking around. Um, I'm going to go on a sloking, because I think he earth powers or focus blasts. If he fusion bolts, we lose sloking. It's not the end of the world. Kind of. <laughs> I could also sack uh, Landorus. Landorus is the safe play. Uh, if he clicks... Um, Fuck, if he clicks Earth Power, we're good. If he clicks Focus Blast, we die. It doesn't matter. And we go into Shrek anyway. We live and he hits. We force him out. Could do that. Um, 
But Landorus, I think it outspeeds the Blaziken, and I, I do want that. I want a Mon that outspeeds Blaziken that isn't Lapening, I think. Uh, I... Uh, he went for Dragon Pulse. Well, he's not clicking it now, so I think I'm going to go on a Slow King and then maybe double out my Registeel. Um... I'm gonna go on a slow king. He doubles in a Blaziken, so that was fucking awesome. That's great for us. That's really great. Scald, I assume you Oko. Yeah, you Oko is Lyper. This definitely Oko's. So we definitely live any hit right here. He has knockoff. We do live that. Knocks off my assault vest. Life orb, you're dead. So slow king MVP right now. Holy shit. Um. So Slowking's pretty weak right now. Um, he has to go on Alakazam because um, yeah, reasons. Um, I think I'm gonna want to Registeel and then double out in a Zapdos. I get the Defog off, then I can go on a Megalopony and clean up this game. Because I don't want to just sack. I don't want to sack uh, Differential. But I want to be safe about it. He's going to click Psychic. He's going to click Shadow Ball. And then I'm going to double out the Zapdos on his Focus. Focus Blast? Yeah. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to do this in the safest way possible. I could just go on a Zapdos right now. Because he'll click Shadow Ball. It's his only move that can kill me. He could also go for Psychic, I guess. But that's more dangerous. Registeel isn't Spadef. Registeel isn't specially defensive. Um, but... Yeah, it can't take a focus blast. Um, I'm going to go into Registeel and then double out to Zapdos. Hey, look at that. Goes for Psychic. Right here. He's going for Focus Blast, or he's going for Shadow Ball, so I'm going to go to Zapdos and then Defog. That's my play. He goes for, is that Z, all out pummeling. Wow, he's Z move. And he gets a crit. That fucking sucks. Do I die to a Psychic now? Oh, fuck, you for real. Um... I'm just out of range if he's... Oh my god, he's, I'm just out of range. I have to defog. Okay, I live that. Um, Alright, I think I go in a Chirum and I get the 6-0. Oh, I'm special, fuck. I think I can kill a... <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot. I'm, I thought I, was, I had Outrage. I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> um, let me check. Can I... I assume even if you're Choice Scarf, you can kill Ice Beam does that much Alakazam. To a Chiron Black, say you're Choice Banded, Ice Beam does that much. You definitely won't be at that much because you'll take Rocks damage. I'm going to go. He won't click a uh, Fighting move. I'm going to go on a Chiron. That's for Shadow Ball. And uh, I believe that is game. Uh, this is a 60% min. Uh, oh, I got rid of the rocks. I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, well, I need a, uh, a high roll. And if I don't get it, I'll just go on to... Uh, I'll just go... Oh, I can't kill this thing. Oh, I can't. Well, no 6-0 today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we were close. Maybe we'll get a crit. I don't think so, though. We're just going to Lopini after... Oh, he's Scarf! Oh, he's Scarf. My boy, Reggie. Come in, my boy, Reggie. He has to be Choice Scarf. We know he's Choice Scarf. Don't freeze. Thank you. We're going to go for Iron Edge. And we get the six. Oh, baby. As long as he doesn't freeze me. Please don't freeze me. I would not want him to freeze me. Hell yeah. All right. That's the game. Six over the Quark City Cyndaquils. That was a great game, dude. Commentine, thank you for the game, dude. Um, oh, I'm really, really happy with that. I think we played our win conditions very, very well. Uh, I'm an idiot, uh, and I thought that Kyron was physical. If he was physical at the end, maybe, I mean, we would have won, because we just click Outrage there, or we won anyway. Um, 
Oh, yes! Oh, I'm so happy with that. Uh, now we move up to 2 and 1 with a positive 7 differential, I believe. Uh, that's crazy. Um, Sloking MVP, dude. Holy shit, it killed the Blaziken. Um, it killed the Lipard. Oh, Sloking was just so good. Uh, I really like Sloking a lot. Uh, Landorus was great. Unfortunately, it did get its item knocked off, which kind of hindered it a lot. Uh, didn't really allow it to come back into the game. Um, and yeah, a lot of close calls, like Sloking living on a sliver, uh, Landorus living on a sliver. Um, a lot of close calls in that game. Um, yeah, that was really, really fun, dude. If you guys have enjoyed this, make sure to heavy slam the like button down below for us and subscribe if you are not already to become a member of the Agronites. Um, with that being said, dude, have yourselves a wonderful day, and bye-bye.